So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. The question says, in the figure, lines M and N are parallel. So let me just put my parallel symbols here. If six, I'm sorry, if X equals six X, if X equals six K plus 13, and Y equals eight K minus 29, what is the value of Z? So that's what's going on here. So what do I know about X and Y? Well, X is here and Y is here. Those two angles have a special relationship they're called vertical angles, right? They're made by the intersection of the same two lines. So those angles are actually congruent to each other. So X will equal Y because of that. So because X equals Y, I could say that 6K plus 13 is equal to 8K minus 29. I can now solve for K by combining like terms. So I can subtract 8k from both sides of the equation. And I can subtract 13 from both sides of the equation as well. And I get 6k minus 8k, which is negative 2k. 13s cancel out, the 8k's cancel out, bring down my equal sign. And negative 29 minus 13 is negative 42. I can then divide both sides by negative two. And what I'll get here is that k is equal to positive 21. All right, so what was the point of finding k? Well, k allows me to then figure out the value for angle y. Angle y has a separate relationship with angle z. These two angles are considered same side, same side interior, Right, because they're on the same side of the transversal, this line T. They're both to the left of line T. Line T here in blue. And they're both interior to the parallel lines. Right, They're both inside the parallel lines. Same side interior angles are supplementary. Supplementary simply means that they add up to 180 degrees. So that's y and z. So I know that y plus z is equal to 180 degrees. Now that I know that k is 21, I can actually figure out what y is, right? Because y, based upon what the question told us, is 8 times k, or 8 times 21, minus 29. 8 times 21 is 168. 168 minus 29 is 139. So that's my y value. So y plus z equals 180 becomes 139 plus z equals 180. From which I can subtract 139 from both sides. And z would be 180 minus 139, just checking everything in my calculator. And I get z is equal to 41. So my answer here is 41, or choice C.